Okay, you're at a point now in your stocking where, of course, you've knit the cuff, you've knit the leg for as long as your pattern tells you to, and you're ready to do what's called the heel flap. And that is this little section right here. We're going to do ours in a different color, so we're going to switch colors again, and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I've knit up to my stitch marker. My stitch marker actually fell out because I knit right up to it, and I broke the red yarn. So we're gonna change colors again. I'm gonna put my needle in, grab the cream color yarn, and leaving about a six inch tail, I'll wrap the needle with the cream color yarn and pull it through and I've just knit a stitch in the new color. Now I'm going to knit across the next 23 stitches for a total of 24 stitches here. I'm not counting. <laughs> Are you counting? I'm not counting. I'll know when I'm getting close and I'll stop and count again. Okay, I've got to be getting close. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 22. Okay, 23, 24. Now, we're going to keep working back and forth across these 24 stitches. So, the next thing you do is you turn the work. Even though you're on circular needles, we're going to be knitting back and forth like a scarf here for this section. First thing I want you to do is to slip the first stitch as if to purl, always, and then purl back across the other stitches. You don't really need stitch markers for this because you're just going to keep going until you get to the last cream colored stitch. Easy enough to tell. I guess stitch markers would be necessary if you were knitting a solid color stocking without contrasting heel and toe. Okay, here we are at the end of our heel flap. Again, I'm gonna turn the work so I have the knit side facing me again. In the beginning of every row, I'm going to put my needle in as if to purl and slip that stitch over without working it and then knit it across all the other ones. And that's it. That is the pattern for the heel flap. It's just stockinette stitch. You knit the knit side and purl the purl side, slipping the first stitch of every row. Follow the pattern to knit the correct number of rows, and I'll see you back here when we learn how to turn the heel. <laughs>